Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel. Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? We want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Your tech's trying to kill me. Pretty sure that's not how it's advertised. If you wish to file a complaint, I'll need more details. Got Johnny Silverhand's construct stuck in my head. And I don't want it Silverhand? There. Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out and to drop. And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Huh. Imagine my luck. To be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Boo -hoo, do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. 
You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. Forget King Tao. Three. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. Ah, is what the? Mm. Fuck! Fuck. Give me Sit down, goddammit! No. Of course it's the damn chip! I saw her hand osis is clearly incubating! That appointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat money while we got a job to do. <clears throat> Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah. Smash Makoshi. You really are turning into me. <sighs> Might be right. We're bickering like a shriveled old married couple. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. No idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. 
Yeah. Maybe. What was it like... when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt... I don't know. Like sleep? Lacked awareness. Had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember... Cold, a black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? No, oh, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corps wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? Because you're trapped there forever. It's eternal. No, nothing's eternal. And for the Psyches and Mikoshi, no such thing as the passage of time. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what Arasaka's doing at Mikoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. you could help what's so delicate about the matter I'd rather discuss that in person if you don't mind can we meet sure let's do that I'll send you the address see you Hey, Judy, what's up? Please, step into hey. view. Can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So? What do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? <laughs> I mean, guess we could chat about the weather or debate where they serve the best ramen. All the same to me, but... <laughs> Fair enough. To business it is. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, Whatever else is pertinent. 
It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. Far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today. Or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify. Alleviate lingering deaths. What shake at night, city? Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Stop right there. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prime, do it after the conference. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. 
That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any interest in Apsaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Africa, woman, horse. Good. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Now go. Gotta practice. Bullets over here. Slow your roll, SCP. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Cream, do it after the conference. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister, later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened, Neil? Nah. But it could've. Oh, well, well. It's the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the con- See anything suspicious? Anything at all? Rather not jump to any conclusions. That's not much to go on. Still too. Any questions? Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help.
thing you answer. Fuck. I could probably use your Bring help. Herself to express probably. Her undying gratitude. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? I was only gone an hour. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I had just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. Won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she's your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? Their fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I gave her some t space, time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. 
Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days. Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. <sighs> no, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging. Got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their staff. Someone here to see you, looks like. Hmm. Wonder what about. You, River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. Are you back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Let me say it again. 
You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be this. I gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over there. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. I'll take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's some info to him. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? As I see it, Morales is up to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me.
My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right. Wait here, then. You looking for, uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no! Said I was done! I was out! Got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know. So fucking remember and make it quick. All right. Jesus. Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of them. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. of any detective's job is talking. How about we change tacks this time? Ask questions first, then level threats. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on. V, how you doing, honey? Listen. Got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So, what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. Hang on, gotta go. Okay, I'm back. Talk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. The perp been proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What do you do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? No idea who we're looking for. Good. Gonna have to Client ask will be waiting for you we'll by start a from car the left. at the corner we'll the of right. 6th and Brandon. Huh? In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Christine Markov. Where will I find her? I don't know her. Find something? Oh, not get out. 
You, Christine Markov? Me? No. She's over there, stalled with the tech. Thanks. Know which one. Let's go. You, Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Petar Horva. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. And then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These speeches? What did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's son. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air-dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this. Oh, Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off. Let's get this party started. Ha ha ha. in the streets with you downright unsafe got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers i'm a cop what do you think uh, gotta report this okay red queen's race now first i gotta clean up the mess you made we'll meet there Well, hey. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me.
fuck off. It's nothing to see here. Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch. Hey, Pop into this room. Okay. Sorry. Got uh, spotted. Okay. Hang on. You're right there. So, the club's around here somewhere. In the garage, is my guess. Or under it.
Ain't shit, cunt! Whatever. I got it. What should we be looking for? But I don't have a... A warrant. Right. What? Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died? Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here the day you die. Joking. <laughs> Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clap here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done. Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the payup! Who'd you smash it up for? Uh, what's it to you? Not be able to speed up your payment? The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow scop like that? Uh, I think I know who it is. That gonk burned me too. Anyway, digging for dirt on him. I get him, you'll get what you're owed. But first I gotta know we're talking about the same ass much. Well, did hold! Lucius Ryan's right hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election? Right, fuck it for the job! Thanks for the help. Thank you for joining all of us here at We'll see you next Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? 
V, I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Still hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear, you can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Now from here, came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Yep. Family comes first. Can't argue with that. The city eats anyone who tries to go in alone. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Chicken this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea of what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting.
Cheers. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes. And that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? 